All right, guys, welcome back to the studio, and we have a very special unboxing. This is going to be our second Fallout Loot Crate Special Edition. Now, uh, as excited as I am to get into this, and I really am, first thing I'm going to say is the size is, like, really small compared to the last one. The last one was easily about two and a half, three times the size. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm pretty sure we got some really great stuff, and, uh, yeah. You see when you open up the box, looks like I've got a really cool uh, picture of Nick there. And let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see, the first thing we've got is our second piece of uh, Build-A-Figure Power Armor. So, uh, go ahead and crack this guy open. And this month we did end up getting the torso for our power armor. So that's actually really cool. And of course the whole concept being that at the end of the, uh, I believe, year, you'll have enough of the power armor to make a secondary figure from all the boxes. So that's actually really cool. And it even stands up on its own. All right. So next item we have is going to be our uh, perk pin. And I suppose the theme this month was special. And so this month's perk pin looks like uh, strength. strength. Yeah. So yeah, these are pretty cool. They're like uh, black and gold. So there's your pin. Let's see, next item will be this. We have a hard case and we've got a vault up <clears throat> and we have a vault boy wearing sunglasses. So I'm assuming there is some kind of sunglasses in here, which is pretty freaking cool. Alright, so you've got your case here. pair of just some good old-fashioned black sunglasses <laughs> okay that's really cool if you can see right in here it actually says perception plus one which is actually really freaking cool so yeah and they just have the different cool enough they just have the different outlines of the perks here and here just really cool and these are some killer shades. These are like, wow, I can look directly into our filming light. So yeah, that's actually a really cool product, especially with the case. Uh, lots of creativity on that. So that's real. To move on to is uh, the thing we all knew was coming, which is uh, our Nick Valentine figure. This is uh, one of Luke Crate's in-house figures. And honestly, they just keep getting better at it. Each one seems to be better. Oh, I'm sorry, it's from their screenshot series. So yeah. And uh, honestly, I'm not a big fan of robots or cyborgs or synths. <laughs> Me and Archer kind of have that shared phobia. But as far as they go, Nick's pretty cool. If you've never played Fallout 4, what are you doing? Go play it. But uh, no. He's a very cool companion, has a very interesting uh, side. And so yeah, we have a little Nick Valentine figure here. Pretty good detail. He's packing the pipe revolver and looks like an uh, Institute pistol. So yeah, you can see the actual like mechanisms of his face under his skin there. The detail on his hat. So again, they're figures you know, the leaks they show on Instagram and stuff don't look anywhere near as impressive as this. Which, uh, I prefer to being the other way. You know, looking really cool and then being cheap. But, uh, I'm really happy with this line so far. No? Yes? No? Alright, so that's what we've got so far. We actually have a couple more items. Okay, I don't know what 
this next item is, but it looks really cool. We have a Loot Crate Edition Fallout Crate, your special. Looks like, this looks like exactly the kind of product I was looking for out of this box. Just super unique, um, fan service -y, you know. Move your hand a little. You know, if you're not a huge Fallout fan right off the bat, you're not going to know what this is sitting on a bookshelf. But again, if you are a huge Fallout fan, you're going to be like, oh my god, where did you get that? Alright guys, so yeah, you pull it out of this case, and what you have is just, um, basically your, um, main attributes from the series, which is cool. These are awesome on their own. Then, when you flip them over, it tells you which attribute, little description, and then all of the perks under that one. So this is, like, super freaking cool, and on top of that... When you open them up, this one is just like a dotted paper. I'm not certain if there's a term for it. And let's see. Here we have grid paper. And one of them, I believe, is just your standard notebook. But uh, these are just like freaking awesome. Alright, so I think we just have one or two more items in the box. Up next we have our shirt. It's like a cool gray shirt. This is a Loot Crate exclusive Bethesda shirt. And this is awesome. We have a Southie Stout. Uh, like, kind of play on Sam Adams. Let's see. Let's see if we can't get a better shot of this shirt. And it says, Button... Gwyneth? Button Gwyneth? Alright, so you have a uh, shirt that's one of the beer companies from Fallout 4. Obviously a play on Sam Adams since it was from Boston. Or the Commonwealth. And I believe that's it for the actual items, but we do have our um, art print and a couple other things, I do believe. It's just going to be the art print and the cheat sheet. So, uh, art print, kind of a bummer, because uh, just about anybody who owns Fallout 4 is already going to have a uh, bigger one of these, which I do have on my uh, Fallout wall. So the art print's a little bit of a letdown. And then on the back, it just goes over everything we got. It claims that everything is 100% exclusive. So yeah, that was everything in uh, February's box. The theme was special. And uh, honestly, this was a killer crate. I was a little judgmental by the size, but uh, I knew they were packing some good stuff in here. And uh, these notebooks are just like such a cool concept I really dig those and a couple of great figures and of course these killer shades which I will be rocking all throughout the summer and yeah so uh, honestly if I had to give this a rating I would give it like four and a half out of five this is just a really good representation of the direction they need to go for this crate uh, yeah so uh, if you guys are interested in picking up the next one, which uh, isn't until April, because it is bi-monthly, I'm going to put all the info down below. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming back in, and peace out.